This is a demonstration of Street View in Google Earth, a more 3D-like experience than with Google Maps. When you first bring up Google Earth, if you look in the lower left, look for the Street View layer and turn this on. Once you do this, you'll see gold camera icons appear over countries that have Street View imagery available. As you zoom in, you'll see more and more camera icons appear. The closer you get, the more appear. We're flying into Raleigh, North Carolina, which also happens to have 3D buildings, if you have the 3D buildings layer turned on, and I'll show why in a minute. But once again, as you get closer into the streets themselves, you'll see all of the camera icons appear that are available, and when you get really close, you'll see spherical photos. These spherical photos are the Street View images themselves as seen in 3D. If you click on one, a place mark appears and you can click on the photo to go into the photo. This is the photo viewer mode of Google Earth. In the upper right you see controls for controlling the view. Drag the white rectangle to move the view around to the different por portions of the photo. This lets you look around the spherical view. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out and the gadget in the upper right to zoom in and out. Now a neat feature in Google Earth is there is a transparency layer in the middle. If you have the Street View layer selected, you can drag this and see the 3D images or other imagery available in Google Earth and compare it to the photo, the Street View photo. And as you can see, the Street View photos are perfectly aligned with the underlying uh, 3D information. So there's the 3D buildings and there's the Street View image. Very cool. I really like how that works. Now another thing you can do inside the Street View image is you can see the other Street View image camera icons. If you double click on those, you traverse to that image and see it. And you can move around and look. So here we are moving down the street and making our way to the intersection. And then at the intersection we can look around, change the transparency layer, and once again see that we're now in the new position without having to move in the 3D domain. Now if we exit the photo we can fly around to another street or another intersection or another city if we want. Find another street view image, click on it, and once again fly into that image. Now we can look around and once again compare the transparencies. So street view is a much more 3D like experience than it is with Google Maps and you have all the other layers you can turn on to Google Earth to help give you more information about where you're at and what things look like. So for the full Street View experience, try it with Google Earth.